Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now that Victor is not living here anymore, he hasn't been for a while actually, he found out in a quick hurry that it costs a lot of money to have water delivered to your home. Now, the place that he lives in is a, I guess you can call it a semi-dry cabin because it does have plumbing, but it's like our house here that has a water system or a water cistern and it's where you get your water out of and he has to refill his water. Well, he only has a four or 500 gallon tank in his place. And every time that a water delivery service goes out there to fill their tank, it's like $80 minimum. So he's like, hey dad, you think you can deliver water to me? You know, a couple times a week. And I was like, absolutely not. For two reasons, ladies and gentlemen, not that I don't love Victor, but first of all, it's like a 60 mile round trip for me to go to his place. And uh, I didn't retire to be a water delivery service. And in addition to that, I would rather help Victor learn how to fish and give him a fish so that he can start off with. So what I did was is I ordered a tank and this is like a reservoir or a fresh water tank for an RV. Right, so it's for an RV, and the reason I ordered one this small is because he only has a car. He doesn't have a truck or an SUV. He just has a small car, and this tank right here would fit perfectly in the back of his car, and it doesn't weigh that much when it's full of water. This is a 42-gallon tank, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and set it up so that he can put it in the back of his car, fill it up with water, and then be able to empty the water out as well. And I'm going to try to do it in a way that doesn't require a pump where we can just use gravity. Let me show you real quick what I'm thinking about doing. Now, as you can see right here, this is the inlet. This is where the water goes in or out. But we're going to use this as the outlet. So I'm going to need to get something that can go over this, like a hose that will go over this, that we can clamp on really good, attach some kind of a shutoff valve to it, and then make the hose long enough that it'll reach to where his tank is or his tank's inlet is uh, from where he parks his truck. So that's one thing we're going to have to do with this. Now, when this is in the car, it's going to be sitting like this in the car uh, from this part down. It's going to be sitting like this in the car. Let me show you. So it'll be sitting like this in the car. He'll have his hose coming out of here with a valve. And then we have to go ahead and put a hole up here and connect something up here that we can top off so that he can put his water spigot in when he goes to get water. Let's head on over to Lowe's and pick up those things that I need. I know I don't have any holes that are one and a half inch outside. So I need a hose that's at least a one and a half inch inside diameter because this is a one and a half inch outside diameter. And then I also have to get something to drill I mean to drill the hole up here or up here I better make sure that I drill the hole in the right place when I get it to drill the hole and, and plug it up with so let's head on over to Lowe's and see what we can get ourselves into we made it to Lowe's ladies and gentlemen let's go in there and see if we can find all the parts we need all right ladies and gentlemen so we've got our parts for the inlet all right so this is what I'm going to use so that the water can be put into the tank. So obviously we'll have to drill a hole in the tank so that we can screw this in. And then I'll probably finish it off with a little bit of silicone. And then I got this as a plug. So I'll show you how this works later on when we put it together. But you just put this in here, twist it, and it creates a seal. That way it doesn't make a mess when he's driving around and water won't come out of here. And I found the hose we're gonna use this is actually just right so the outside diameter of the uh, inlet or the outlet the outlet is one and a half inches and as you can see here this one is one and five eighths inches which is just right because we'll be able to put that in there and then we'll be able to use a clamp to screw it down uh, I got two of them for a total of 12 feet which should be plenty so now all we have to do is we have to get something to connect this to this hose should it need it and I also want to get something like a shut off valve that he can actually shut it off that way when you put the water in there the water doesn't have anywhere to go uh, through this hose until he needs to open it up and I think we found a nice little ball valve which is going to be not a threaded one 
but this one right here should be perfect because the tube will be able to fit right around this and we can clamp it on so this is the one we're gonna get all right we got everything we needed I needed to pick this up because I don't have a two and a quarter inch saw or hole saw or whatever that thing is called let's see what are these called hole saw yeah I didn't have a two and a quarter inch so I picked this up we're good to go I have some clamps at home and that's all we'll need all right ladies and gentlemen we are back from Lowe's and you saw what I got uh, the only other thing that I'm going to need besides what I got is my drill. I went and grabbed a few of these clamps that you all saw me get on one of my last payday preps. And uh, of course, you saw that I grabbed this. Uh, what is, I always forget. This is a hole saw. Grab the hole saw. We went ahead and decided to go with, a, I believe this is what, a two inch? Let's see what it says here. Yes, this is a two inch. This is gonna be our inlet. So that we're gonna go ahead and drill a hole up here for the inlet. That way you can put his water in. And this is gonna be our plug, which this actually works pretty well. Let me show you how this works real quick. All you do is, is once we have this in there, you put this inside like that. And then all you do is give it a few turns and it compresses it in there. And look at that, works pretty good. It doesn't have to be super tight because it's just going to be keeping water from spilling out. So this is what we got. I think that the hardest part of this job is going to be that when we do the hole that we can thread it on pretty good. But what I'm going to do is, is after I thread it, after I, I'm almost done threading it on, I'm going to put a bead of silicone around here and then finish threading it on and then let it cure. And that should be fine. Plus, it's going to be on the top side. So there's really not going to be any pressure of water coming out through here. It's just gonna be splashes that this is gonna be blocking. So we've got that. We also went ahead and got our, our little ball valve. And we got our two sets of tubes. The first thing I'm gonna do is put this tube on here and the ball valve. That way it'll remind me that I have to drill up here so I don't mess things up. So let's go ahead and put this on. And look at this, this worked out great, ladies and gentlemen. This is the perfect inside diameter for this it's nice and snug i was thinking that i was going to have to put a little silicone in there in case there was any kind of a little bit of a space to make sure that if the uh that if this clamp ever failed that it would keep from leaking but it's perfect try not to get it too tight so that i don't end up collapsing that inlet so we definitely don't want it to break let's see let me give it another crank and see how it looks like. Okay. That right there feels perfect. That's not going anywhere. And then what will happen is, is that when he has this in the car, this hose will be up here because this will be the top. This side here will be the top. So he'll have this hose up there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but with this valve right here. And although this valve is threaded, this hose will go right in there like that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this. Put a clamp in there. And there you go. That shouldn't leak. But what I'll do is, is when we go fill it up for the first time, I'll bring this little ratchet with me. And uh, just in case it does leak, we can tighten it a little more. I don't want to tighten it too much because I don't want it to break. This can actually break if you tighten it too much. But I have another hose right here. I have another hose that I'm going to connect to this one right here. But what we'll do is, is we will wait until we get to Victor's house to see how far away his car is going to be from the inlet. Because I've never seen where the inlet to his water tank is. And if it's farther away, we'll go ahead and connect the other hose to this. But we'll do that then. All right, so this is going to be the top of it. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a hole right here in the middle. That way it'll have the most support. I was thinking about putting it here, but I'm going to put it right in the middle right here. Now, before I start drilling, I made sure to go ahead and check. I just checked it by the numbers when I was at the store. But now I'm actually checking it to make sure that it is the right size. And it looks like it is. So let's go ahead and drill our hole right around here. It's probably not going to be perfectly centered, but guess what, ladies and gentlemen, it'll still work. And now if you're looking for a drill 
a cordless drill that can take several 20 foot falls this is it right here this is the drill that i started off with when i first started building our house and this thing has been through the ringer i mean take a look at it so it's definitely done a great job and it's still going strong and these are the original batteries too i purchased some of the bigger batteries i think they're four amp batteries or something like that and uh, they're nice but these are still the original batteries they're starting to lose a little bit of capacity but they still work so let's go ahead and drill this hole up here and there you go and i guess i'm going to be doing a little vacuuming after this is done <laughs> that worked out very nice very very nice ladies and gentlemen i would love nothing more than to build like a workshop you know like garage that's insulated and heated and everything like that but I refuse to pay the taxes. The taxes on a workshop, a heated garage or something like that here is ridiculous. But as long as you're clean, ladies and gentlemen, and you make sure you clean up after yourselves, I think that's what really matters. Now comes the test. Let's see how this works. I think this is probably gonna be a pain in the butt, but you never know, I might get lucky. And look at that, it's working. I think the biggest thing here is to make sure that we get it level. When it seats, that when it seats, it seats level. But it's working pretty well. I'm gonna have to go get my silicone out and see if we can put it on there because it's looking good. We're gonna do it all the way first and see if we can bring it up. Oh, that looks great. That looks great. See if we can bring it up some and then we'll put a little bit of silicone there i don't even think we need the silicone but i'm going to do it just as a safety precaution there you go it's nice and tight usually when i do this ladies and gentlemen i go ahead and just take a towel a paper towel and wet it on a couple of sides one for this and the other one for my finger so i'm going to go ahead and smooth this out that, ladies and gentlemen, came out better and was easier than I thought it would be. Let me show you what I do really quick with my cog gun. Uh, obviously, there's silicone in there now, but what I do with my cog gun to make sure that I preserve whatever silicone or cog is still in the tube. So as you can see, obviously, this is open. And, and in the past, I've had really bad luck with, with this getting hard all the way up to here, you know. Oops. And then uh, kind of like it ruining the, the rest of it, where I've had to like cut this open and then just do it by hand. So what I do is I squeeze a little bit out. And I'm sure there's probably better ways than this to do it. And then I go ahead and grab like a half of a, a finger of a glove. And I just hold it up here. Let me see if I can do this with the camera on. I just hold it up here like this. And I just put it on here. And then that little extra that I put up here kind of like seals it around here. And uh, hopefully it doesn't allow any air in for the next time that I need to use it. Then I just pull it off, throw this away, and then redo it again if I have any left the next time I use it. All right, so now to give you a better idea of how this plug works, it's really cool. All it is is you have this. This is not connected to this. And what will happen is, is that as you squeeze this, it'll, it'll expand this gasket here, or this big O-ring, and then it'll compress it going outward. Just go like this, and there you go. And that right there is probably about as tight as you'll ever have to put it, because like I said, it's just to keep water from splashing out. Now what we're going to do is, is we're going to let this sit, we're going to let this cure for a few hours, and then Victor's supposed to be visiting today, so when he comes... I'll show him this, surprise him with it because he doesn't know that I'm that I'm getting this done today. And then we'll go fill it up. And who knows, maybe we'll even be able to visit Victor at his house when we're, when we're putting this in. All right, so we'll see you then. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what I've been up to with the freeze dryer here the last couple of days. I did a batch of chicken, the one that I get from Costco. And this is five pounds of cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese. Comes out great. What, Karma? What do you want? Mm. Speak? <laughs> Good girl. Just a second. We'll go out and play in a minute. All right? Watch out, dog. Get out of there. 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it looks like. That's how it's going to be sitting inside of his car, inside of the back seat. Now, for those of you that may be asking, well, isn't that a lot of weight? Well, this is 42 gallons, so let's just go ahead and make it easy and say 40 gallons. One gallon of water weighs approximately 8.7 pounds, so let's say 9. So this would be 360 pounds when full, which is the weight of about two average full-size persons, you know, of two adult persons. And this is going to be sitting in the back seat where those two persons would normally sit. So no, it's not really that heavy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment of truth. We have to go ahead and get another length of tubing. And, uh, oh my goodness, who is that? And as you can see, Victor has the uh, end of that hose over there. Say hello, Victor. Hello, Victor. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and open it up right here. And gravity should be doing it, although it is a little bit level with that over there. I feel water coming through. So gravity's taking care of it right now, but it, we might have to get rid of that little mound of snow there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a heck of a challenge. But uh, it's almost a little higher than level, so it was a heck of a challenge. So Victor's going to end up getting a pump. But I wanted to show you their little hobbit home. This is Victor and Brenna's hobbit home. <laughs> uh, you can see it's not very big, but guess what? It'll do. It still needs some uh, clothing on the outside. It just has its underwear on. Goodbye, everyone. I hope you have <laughs> glorious day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. That's Beautiful it. day today. Look at this. I get less than 10 seconds of camera time. That, you didn't even want to come on camera, Victor. Who said so? <laughs> Victor, listen. We may have to change. We may have to change your nationality because you know what's going on with Russia. No. Can can we maybe maybe trans transfer over to uh, Alaska Walken for a little bit until this Russia thing is over? No. Are you sure? Yes. What about? Uh, let's see. What about? All right. What about? If you don't want to do Alaska walking, what about uh, Alaska Tyson? Uh, I can't occur. I can't agree with that. No, 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 uh, no, not that one. That's not Alaska Tyson. Don't definitely don't do that one. All right. 